Do you get to the Cloud District very often? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you don't.
feels like a whole mountain of rock is above us. Take this and hold on to it. I'll be back for it later. I'll pay you good. Don't lose it. No time to talk. Snitch or double cross me and I'll kill you. I mean it. Victory's yours, I submit! Did you see someone run past just now? Yes. How did you get this? Uh, oh, never mind. Here. It's not much, but it's something. I'm going to track down that thief and murder him. You there. The Dawn Guard is looking for anyone willing to fight against the growing vampire menace. What do you say? You're not paying attention then, like almost everyone else around here. Haven't you heard that the Hall of the Vigilance was destroyed by vampires? They never took the threat seriously, and now they've paid the price. <laughs> The Vigilants mostly hunt down Daedra worshippers, which is why they got torn to pieces when they went up against vampires. That's why our leader, Izran, is re-establishing the Dawn Guard, real serious vampire hunters. That's what everybody says, right up until they find their throat being ripped out by a pack of hungry vampires. If you change your mind and decide to join the fight before it's too late, Talk to Ezron at Fort Dongard, southeast of Riften. Kusta, war is not new to fall. Thank you. It's a collection of regrets that I try not to forget. Here, I promise you this. Life is far too short, my friend. Don't waste it. Good to see you. Finally, someone useful is around. Then by my right as Jarl, I name you Thane of Falkreath. Congratulations. I grant you a personal house, Carl, and this weapon from my armory to serve as your badge of office. I'll also notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't want them to think you're part of the common rabble now. The Jarl has appointed me to be your house, Carl. It's an honor to serve you. Lead on, Thane. My blade is always yours to command. Yes, my Thane. Do you need something? I'd be honored to be your steward. You've built a fine steading here. Halt! City's closed with the dragons about. Official business only. Riverwood's in danger, too? You better go on in. You'll find the Jarl in Dragon's Reach, at the top of the hill. Rash action. What's the meaning of this interruption? Jarl Balgruf is not receiving just... visitors. Who's this, then? As House Karl, my job is to deal with all dangers that threaten the Jarl or his people. So you have my attention. Now explain yourself. You know about Helgen? The Jarl will want to speak to you personally. Approach. So, you were at Helgen. You saw this dragon with your own eyes? By Ismir, Irileth was right. 
What do you say now, Proventus? Shall we continue to trust in the strength of our walls? Against the dragon? My lord, we should send troops to Riverwood at once. It's in the most immediate danger. If the that dragon Valkyrie is lurking in the mountains... view that as a provocation. He'll assume we're preparing to join Ulfric's side and attack him. We should Enough. not... I'll not stand idly by while the dragon burns my hold and slaughters my people. Irileth, send a detachment to Riverwood at once. Yes, my Jarl. If you'll excuse me, I'll return to my duties. That would be best. Well done. You sought me out on your own initiative. You've done Whiterun a service, and I won't forget it. Here. Take this as a small token of my esteem. There is another thing you could do for me. Suitable for someone of your particular talents, perhaps? Come, let's go find Faringar, my court wizard. He's been looking into a matter related to these dragons and rumors of dragons. Faringar, I think I've found someone who can help you with your dragon project. Go ahead and fill him in with all the details. So the Earl thinks you can be of use to me? Oh yes, he must be referring to my research into the dragons. Yes, I could use someone to fetch something for me. Well, when I say fetch, I really mean delve into a dangerous ruin in search of an ancient stone tablet that may or may not actually be there. Ah, no mere brute mercenary, but a thinker. Perhaps even a scholar? You see, when the stories of dragons began to circulate, many dismissed them as mere fantasies, rumors, impossibilities. One sure mark of a fool is to dismiss anything that falls outside his experience as being impossible. But I began to search for information about dragons. Where had they gone all those years ago? And where were they coming from? I, uh, learned of a certain stone tablet said to be housed in Bleak Falls Barrow. A dragon stone, said to contain a map of dragon burial sites. Go to Bleak Falls Barrow, find this tablet, no doubt interred in the main chamber, and bring it to me. Simplicity itself. An old tomb, built by the ancient Nords, perhaps dating back to the Dragon War itself. Ah, maybe you just want to know how to get there. It's near Riverwood, a miserable little village a few miles south of here. I'm sure some of the locals can point you in the right direction once you get there. Well, must preserve some professional secrets, mustn't we? I have my sources. Reliable sources. I don't. I haven't Mother's Gift. Not quite. But I've seen things. My brother is sensitive. He has trouble focusing his attention on things. We were taking him to the Temple of Kinnereth in Whiterun, just so the healers could make sure he was in good health. And they say he's fine. Are you heading to Whiterun? Could you take this letter to the priestess, Danica Pure Spring? It's a note about Yorick's health. Thank you. Ah, you saw that, did you? Life in Morthal has been troubled lately. The people are uncertain, restless. They merely look to the Jarl for leadership. There's news of rebellion against the Empire. Strange noises have been heard in the marshes at night. And then, the tragedy with Rogar's home. The men simply seek wisdom. Everything will be fine. That's what many here wanted. A quiet life in a quiet place, without the noise or the trouble of a city. Now some worry this wizard Falion will foul it all up. Rogar's house? It burned down not too long ago. It's a real pity about his wife and kid. The screams woke half the town. Most folk won't go near it now for fear it's cursed. 
Hrogar claims it was a hearth fire. Some folks say Hrogar started it himself. That's what they say. See, he's living with Alva now. That started the day after the fire. It ain't right moving in with a new love the day after your kin die like that. Aye. Our Jarl would sure like to know if he did, though. Might even pay to find out. Don't well, fret over you the, the handsome There's one. nothing to fear. You Old and I Lord should spend right some time spirits. together. Just lend him your ear. The people here work so hard, and they never allow themselves a moment of fun. It's such a pity. It won't last forever, though. Do they? How delightful. I'm lucky to have a man that is so devoted to me. Until next time. Tamriel is full of wisdom and magic, if one is willing to look for it. Few have their eyes open. Rogar's house fire? Well, he lost his wife and daughter in the blaze. My people believe it to be cursed now. Who am I to gainsay them? Rogar blames his wife for spilling bear fat in the fire. Many folk think he set the fire himself. Lust can make a man do the unthinkable. The ashes were still warm when he pledged himself to Alpha. On rumor and gossip? No. But you, a stranger, might find the truth for us. Sift through the ashes that others are too fearful to touch. See what they tell you. Should you prove him guilty or innocent, I will reward you. Helgi, the father says I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. Are you a stranger? The smoke woke me up. I was hot and I was scared, so I hid. Then it got cold and dark. I'm not scared anymore, but I'm lonely. Will you play with me? Okay, let's play hide and seek. You find me, and I'll tell you. We have to wait for nighttime, though. The other one is playing too, and she can't come out until then. I can't tell you. She might hear me. She's so close. If you can find me first, I can tell you. too, but I'm glad you found me first. Layla was told to burn mommy and me, but she didn't want to. She wanted to play with me forever and ever. She kissed me on the neck, she's and I got so cold that the fire here. didn't even hurt. Layla thought she could take me and keep me, but she can't. I'm all burned up. I'm tired. I'm gonna sleep for a while now. Layla. She's dead. He's spears beard. She's... she's a vampire. She's dead. Laolette is dead. Laolette. I thought she left to join the Stormcloaks. Oh, my poor Laolette. She began to spend a lot of time with Alva. Yet just a week before, she despised her. In fact, the night she disappeared, she was supposed to meet Alva. Alva told me later that she never showed up. I never got to tell her goodbye. You think Alva? But that means... Ye gods, you think Alva is a vampire? No, you're wrong. You must be wrong. Leolette may have met her fate out in the marsh. I refuse to believe Alva had anything to do with this. There is no way you can prove it to the Jarl. 
I hope Alva is not what you think. I hear you put Laylette out of her misery. Now there's a mystery. She ran away when the war started. Her husband Thonier was devastated. No note or nothing. I'm pretty sure she up and joined the Stormcloaks. Used them all up. I picked up the trade when I was a girl. One of the temple healers staying here on a pilgrimage showed me the basics. She had a book with her, Song of the Alchemists, that I used to read over and over. I miss having a copy. Really? I'd be happy to show you a bit about herbs if you find the book. If you stand before me to accuse me of sacrificing children or eating the hearts of the dead, you may save your breath! I have done no such thing, nor do I intend to! I simply wish to live my life in peace! I keep to myself. I offer spells and scrolls to those who need them, and wisdom in conjuration magic for those who wish to learn. Beyond that, I seek only to be left alone to pursue my research. Never should have come here. You look sick. Is Hrogar innocent or not? Ava? Huh, didn't think she had it in her. I assume you have proof? Can't go making accusations like that without proof. So it's true, the traitorous bitch. Morthal owes you a debt. Here, you were promised a reward for solving the crime, but I need one more favor from you. Morthal is still in danger. The journal mentions Movarth, a master vampire I thought was destroyed a century ago. I'll gather together some able-bodied warriors to clean out Movarth's lair. They'll be waiting outside for you to lead them. 
She's dead. Laelette. I want vengeance for my wife. Vengeance for Laelette. We're marching on Movar's lair, whether you come with us or not. I'm just a poor man trying to make a living. I'd leave Mortal were it in my power. They may be cowards, but I'm not. I'll go with you. I suppose you're right. I'm not a fighting man. Go, and avenge my Laelette for me. All right, then. should have come here. Someone there? Was I knew it!
can't hide from me! Mine's playing tricks on me.
Mother's calling me. It's time for me to sleep now. I'm so tired. Thank you for making her feel better. Well, look at you. If only everyone acted like you did. By the eight, I didn't think he could do it. Now maybe we can put all this behind us. Take this as a token of our gratitude. There is room in my court for a new thing. It's an honorary title mainly, but there are a few perks someone like you could make use of. However, I could only grant the title to someone who is known throughout my hold. You help my people, and I'll make you my thane. Good luck. Welcome, child. Yorick's sister? Poor child. Magic runs deep in that family's bloodline. It's not always a blessing. Fever. Thank you for this. Something for your trouble. Tamriel is full of wisdom and magic, if one is willing to look for it. Few have their eyes open. Then by my right as Jarl, I name you Thane of Hjalmarch. Congratulations! I grant you this weapon from my armory to serve as your badge of office. I'll also notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't want them to think you're part of the common rabble now. If you've business with the Yard, I do what I can to see that Idgrud's time isn't wasted, and that she only has to deal with important matters. There aren't any houses for sale in Morthal, but if you're interested, I could sell you land in the hold where you could build your own house. Excellent. We're glad to have you as a landowner in Hjalmarch. Here's the title to your steading. If you don't mind getting your feet wet, your best bet is to head north past the mill. The odd tomb or two along the way won't bother you. The land is on the coast across from the Karth Delta from Solitude. An inspiring location, as you'll see. The Jarl has appointed me to be your house, Carl. It's an honor to serve you. Excellent. Lead on, Thane. What do you need, Thane? 
I'd be honored to be your steward. You've built a fine steading here. 